Welcome back after a long, long time away from Assassin's Creed. Uh, I don't remember anything other uh, than something about tea and Sam Adams or something. Yes, we uh, blew up all of the tea. I nearly shattered my skull, and okay. and and now we're we're going to report in on the success of our tea blowing up mission. Oh. Excellent. Yes, because we did that in the middle of the night, and now we need to check in in broad daylight about what's the next part of our plan. Okay. I also remember we recruited our first assassin buddy. Yes, Senior Hatchet Man the French. Yes. Oh, actually, that was the very last episode we did. We knifed oh, the guy. that was, wasn't it? Yeah, so. Yeah, because not, nothing says stealth like walking up to a guy in broad daylight into a crowd and then just hatcheting him. Just, I, I, you know, it was, it was overt, yes, yes, but it was simple and elegant. Yes, like a Corvette or a fine wine. Those are also both simple and elegant things. Shut up. I think I just hopped over the pig. Yep. It's. It's pig core as opposed to parkour. Check out these angry citizens. Oh yeah. Press E to start a m flash mob. Oh yeah. Up. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why they're not pissed off at you after you just tackled that guy. Well, there's a mob. They're distracted. I might oh. as well throw money. Up. Oh. What? I think, I think that old guy just cried at him. He like bailed. he disarmed him. After getting, like, stabbed in the gut by a bayonet, which did no damage, so apparently he's just either a ghost or some kind of superhuman. Well, what are you talking about? Everyone can take at least one bayonet to the gut and be fine. Uh, I don't know. Are you just synchronizing for the next 20 minutes? Is that this video? No, actually, I was just showing off the synchronizing. This was actually very, very satisfying to do. Um... Even if it was just, oh look, a building, I'm going to climb it. It was nice. It, it felt like the old school climbing up to Synchro. I noticed that none of the buildings are tall enough by themselves. You have to climb up an antenna or something each time. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Boston. Yeah. Um, but those are actually the only two things I synchronize for like the next years. Yes. For, the, like, the next cool. 50 minutes at least. Okay. Oh, we're talking... All right, on to the mission now. Yes. The meat and potatoes of this game. We find out what happens now. We must wait for the signal. What signal? This meeting can do nothing further to save the country. That one. So, you'll see all this dust in the air? And yeah. that's, like, a constant thing. I feel like they have a dust engine that they just cranked up to 11. Yeah, I mean, it's like they wanted to go Gears of War brown-gray, but, like, there wasn't enough pollution yet, so they just had to kick up dust everywhere. Yep. That, well, that is a shitload of dust. What the hell? Yep. It gets better. Simple as that. Simple seems a bit charitable. I don't know why Connor's so mad. So why is, why are people mad about stuff? What? Uh, Connor was pissed off. Connor was pissed off that he axed the dude in the middle of broad daylight and didn't learn anything. Which seems... wasn't wasn't that entirely his fault for pissing off the French guy enough to make him do that? No, 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 no. The French guy got pissed off because someone stole his shit, and Connor yeah. tried to dissuade him, but then totally told him to murder someone. Yeah, that, that... Oh, is this is this the Boston Tea Party? Is this what's happening? Yes. So Sam Adams says we need, or whoever that was, we need to turn the guards' ang the the citizens' anger against the guards, right? Okay. But this is all on me. Like no citizen joins in ever on this. Well, obviously, you're a citizen, so you're the anger. Up. Oh. This, this guy's amazing. <laughs> he just knifes two guys. <laughs> and then he leaves. <laughs> just 
jumps into the abyss of the ocean, never to be seen again. I have so much fun with the water physics. So what was the it? hell did you... I double killed. <laughs> what? <laughs> and he just forgot about me, like everyone else who goes into the water. <laughs> we should... Uh, well known fact, no one in Boston knew how to swim other than Connor. And frankly, uh, I don't know why he knew. <laughs> Indian knowledge. No, because his fat friend was going to drown. Oh, yeah, I don't know. And those lumberjacks impaired... were going to drown? Think... He, 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 fuck. No one knows how, did... how to swim. Did Haytham swim? Did he inherit it from Haytham? <laughs> I oh, don't know. Yeah, kick that guy into the river. <laughs> He never comes back. <laughs> he just sinks. <laughs> You're at the shoreline. It's probably like 10 feet deep at the most. <laughs> He's just gone. I like how, like, whenever you're, like, killing a guy, everyone is like, I'm just gonna watch how this plays out. No, this guy's just... really impressive. I I'm gonna see if I can learn anything from him. Oh. And you're in the water. And he doesn't know where you are. And you're gone. This guy actually remembered I was uh -oh. there. And I don't know what happened there, but he just jumped. <laughs> he just decided to take his own life. He's a ghost British... back from hell itself. British soldiers just melt in the water, and he's just astounded that you survived somehow. Seriously, I'm like the white ghost out of the ocean froth. Uh... I'm just... Did, did that box just... Uh, the box threw itself in the water. Yeah, I saw that. And again, we must turn the crowd's anger against them, yet every we're doing everything. That's Paul Revere, by the way. Fat oh. fuck. Why is ev Everyone in this game looks fat, except for Lee and Connor. And maybe Achilles, I forget. We need to keep those bastards at bay while the tea's being dumped. That guy too, me. Yeah. Let me up. I'm yours to He's got some bulging biceps, man. He does. I mean, you saw what he did to those soldiers. Yeah. It's interesting to note, though, my, if you look on the bottom right, my assassin friend symbol is still disabled. The game counts him as dead right now. Well, because he jumped in the water. Yeah. The game doesn't know what to do. <laughs> He's in the cutscene giving his assistance to me, but that guy's fucking dead. Yep. So, optional objective... Ten crates in the water. That, that, this is riveting. Watch me swag over the next set of crates. Oh no! Yeah, I gotta go save my friends. What? Never mind. He killed the guy. More are coming. I actually got in like the most awkward fight. This guy kept blocking my shit. Oh no. He's actually capable in combat. Yep. As nice. opposed to. Oh, never mind. Whoop. See? He's... What the hell? Is that guy Neo? He's the uh, Neo of British people? I was just. Most... One fatal... Sorry, what? <laughs> Go ahead. I don't have anything important to say. I was gonna say, he just keeps. I was really surprised that I didn't get an auto kill animation on him at any point. Yeah. One of the optional objectives is to do an air musket assassination, which I was is kind that... of confused how to do. I mean, at this point, I was really confused how to do an air assassination in the first place. Who's William Molyneux? Is that the French guy? Uh, that's the guy standing right next to me right now. Okay. But okay. Yes, he's. What's a... the French? What's the French guy's name? William Molyneux. No, that thought that doesn't look like the French guy though. Oh, oh, oh! The the, the French guy with the knife, or yeah. the, the blade. Um, that I uh, he's the French guy. Um, okay. Frenchy McCleaver Town. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Cleaverton of oh, the that... French Brigade. That guy took, like, eight knives to the chest before going down. 
And that guy's just being regal about it. Yeah. He's so very kind. I feel like this game should have the Dragon Age Origin blood engine. You should be just drenched in it right now. You saw the last time they tried to apply blood, it started moving with their neck turn. Yeah. Oh. Whenever they apply anything to models in this game, like remember the mud throwing, oh, the guy who pooped, pooped himself? himself. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> I liked Mr. Poop. Yeah. Too bad he died. Unfortunate. I had to kill him. In the past. The past future of the Animus no, machine. Yes. I'm trying to help out by throwing the British in the ocean. Yes. Victory. Haha. <laughs> And at this point, I realized it would be faster to just dump the crates than actually help people. But Paul Revere is a bitch. Ugh. Like, throughout this entire sequence, I never at all feel like I like Paul Revere. So, he's just like a hemophiliac baby in this in this fight. What the yep. hell? Yep. I'm freaking out that this guard behind him is just going to knife him <laughs> to death. But the guard AI is amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So he just stood there stoically while one person attacked you and everyone else watched. <laughs> Sam Adams is over here jacking off about the fact yeah. that he survives. <laughs> oh, it's that guy. What's his name? That's Johnson. That's, okay. That's, that's the real Johnson. Okay. But yeah, Paul Revere, I never like him, and it's the one thing that Connor and I agree on about. Ugh. And, what, uh, the wrong, what the hell is wrong with Lee? He just like... he's like Is he like a leper or something? Really? It would add to his character if Lee was a leper. He just looks like a greasy homeless person now. Uh, I liked him before he joined the Templars. Yeah. I don't know before what Before he was, was trying to be cool. <laughs> he's like... No, Connor just walks up, grip and tip your cup, yo, and just drops it in. Look, let's look at Connor being an asshole. Yeah. He could have just stolen that tea, I don't know. Well, you saw what happened to the last six people that tried to sell tea that was stolen. Well, he could have just used it himself, give it to Achilles. Achilles doesn't give a shit. <laughs> I hear Achilles can't just walk into any old store with a big bag of money and buy things. Yeah, Achilles is like your second dad. I don't even... Oh. I was about to say, I don't know who Connor's dad is, because he never showed up in the <laughs> intro sequence. <laughs> and you realized you're retarded. I realized I had a crippling case of the retards. <laughs> uh. Well, time to fast travel to my house. <laughs> 